there's a little more clay. If your clay, your clay's gonna start to dry out as you do this. So keep an eye if it starts feeling like real dry, go ahead and throw it in the refuse or whatever and grab fresher clay. Because um, if it's too dry, it's not gonna hold it to the, the base and it's gonna fly off. Okay. First things first, I'm the realist. So it's a little important that you use your more narrow tools. We can try to use that big guy because you've got you've got one really large one. Yeah, that sucker is the stupidest tool in your whole tool kit. <laughs> if you were to try to use that on this, it would fly off immediately. Or you would dig in too deep. Like I can just about guarantee it. That one's really only good for like digging into sculpture. And most of the time, a lot of people will take that and they'll hammer it into another shape. So I don't know really too many people who hold on to that like original. That guy can be very unhelpful when you think he's gonna come and clutch. So just do your best to try to get it even on the outside as much as possible. Take off that edge. And I'll go ahead and do that little bevel. Um, First things first, you're gonna just even one quick swipe from one edge to the other. This one, she looks like it's gonna work. So I got, I should have a, ideally an even plane here. I'm gonna dig in just a little bit, dig a little farther in. You know it's working out good if it's coming out in these little spirals versus like little chippies. Okay, so I'm going to pull to the, as wide as I think I want my foot to go. So very slowly. Right there, that's not bad. And if I wanted to sort of like bevel in, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim here and then very, very subtly start to turn the edge of my curved piece inward. Just very, very gradually, don't try to go force it. Just like, like real quick, like slow turn inwards. So that way we can get sort of like that like separated, separated foot. And especially if I want like one of those teacup foots, I really want to just narrow that like inside as much as I possibly can. Um, and so something to think about with that type of foot is like, how does this side of the bowl look in comparison? And if you want more of a rounded, like I would always go, go back and address it because like sometimes that can just enhance it. So just sort of with the flat edge, Take it over and just, just round it out a little bit and you can make make or break the look of it. And even though we've, we've sort of created that like separated foot, I'm still going to add that bevel because once again, it'll give me that like glaze line cleanup that I want. This is still not like ideal, so I'm going to go down through maybe a couple more times with the narrow point of my trimming tool here. Ooh. So when your lungs are too dry, they will just, they'll just fly off. So if you see something just go plunk, stop what you're doing, stop what you're doing. This is a, a trial by fire trimming session. Everything that could go wrong has gone wrong. So just like when you open your pot when you're throwing, you want to bring it all the way to that the edge of that rim. Same thing, because like we want this to be sort of nice and clean as much as possible. And like one more. Well, okay. This is where you get in trouble. You're like, I could probably go one more time, and then that one time is the the time you go through the bottom. Nice. Okay. So I like this. This looks good. Um. Sometimes you get these little like throwing lines. Um. What you can sort of do if you've got like a little bucket of water near you. Just wet your fingers just ever so slightly and just hold this, like compress it like you would to a rim. Ooh. And that'll get rid of those like funny edges. I'm all out. We finally have a successful foot. Yay, yay, yay. It was so beautiful and white. You all want to give a feel. And you can always, after you've like trimmed the bowl, I just give it a real quick spin so any like little boogers that are just sitting there will just fly off. Yeah, one more thing to do. Ooh. 
I did not put that in the middle at all. So this is going to be one of those situations where it's like good enough. Um, I have like a particularly like hard patch right here. Um, you can kind of see it where it's thrown. There's like a, like a defined line here from where I was trying to throw and I got caught and I just called it. Um, so it's not going to be as lined up as I'd like it to be. So sometimes if your piece is off center when you throw it and you go to trim it, your foot will be egg shaped. That's okay. There's nothing you can do about it. Um, if it's off center, it's off center. It's not a big deal. It'll just be egg shaped. So if it's egg shaped, you'd be like, well, yeah, okay. So this one wasn't centered. We learn things, we move on, we do another. And the kicker with throwing, I'm sure you guys have picked up on this, is just process, process. You do this, and then you do this, and then you do this, and then you've got a piece, it's all done. And like repetition, so like centering, opening, pulling, centering, opening, pulling. It's, it's pretty much like the same all throughout. So first thing first, just clean up that edge as much as possible. And then take off, so you see on this one I've got this like funny little like cut right here. It's really going to be important that I level that out. And you might find if you've got something like that, your tool is going to catch on it just a little bit. Don't let it catch, just pull through, right? Like, because if you, if you stop to give it the time of day, it will mess you up. Okay, so from here, I want to decide what kind of foot I want. What kind of foot do you think this will... What's, what's the crowd want to see? This is this is an open canvas. It could be anything at this point. Is there maybe be like a foot like this one, but smaller, like like, like more yeah. narrow, like in in and in? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's a challenging foot. <laughs> yes. Okay. So how do we do like say we want a little foot? How do we get a little foot? Little foot's a dinosaur. We can't. He's dead. Yes. And as much as we love him. I'm pretty sure it's like a scam. We love them. We love them. Your car insurance is expiring. The warranty on your car has expired. We've been trying to reach you. This is your final warning. It's never. It wasn't the case. <laughs> exactly. Like how many of those do we get a day? Okay. So the kicker is first you have to decide how narrow you want it. Like how. Small is small enough. And like the, the big thing you want to think about with that is like how wide is this hole? Because if you go too narrow, it's going to look a little funny. So we want to go like a reasonable amount of like narrow. So I'm probably going to go to about like right here. So I'm going to go ahead and just set myself with a size first off. And I'm going to edge through my down three. So this. I usually like my feet to be about like a quarter inch. So this is the inside of my foot. The outside of my foot will be right there. So set yourself up some guides to work with. So that way you're not just like open for the grass, right? We want to be successful. So first thing, I'm going to go ahead and just try to gradually take that material down to that line. And this might take a minute. So be patient, just work with it. So I, I know how wide I want my foot. Ooh, I lost, I lost that. Lost the one. And you can kind of see it coming together here. If you're going to throw a foot like this, be conscious of how much material you have specifically right here. Because we don't want to like go through the wall. But it could very easily happen. Okay. Sometimes. In your play decides to get uneven, and that's okay. We're just gonna you can just take the lugs off, and nothing says you can't start over. Close it. Not that one. Um, all these little trimmings, just put them into the recycle bucket. They'll dissolve actually really fast. 
Um, or if you're making like sculpture and you need like dirt texture, save these, let them dry out. You can just crumple these on some slip like that. And they look really great. So I did for my mushroom. Okay. All right, back at it, back at it again. So the kicker with this is progressive movements, not pushing it too far, too fast. Because if I try to go too far, too fast, I will either A, knock it off the lugs, B, dig a hole straight right through it. And I think that, I don't, I don't think there's a C. I think that might be the extent of it. So, okay. The reason I'm, I have decided that's probably as far as I can go. The reason I've decided this, I'm going to pull this off because I think we'll be able to see it. Nope. So you can kind of see it here in the corner. It's sort of starting to like push inward just ever so slightly. I don't know. Maybe I'm just like imagining things, but I know for sure if I were to go any farther, I would bust right through the side. So this is what why we plan our feet. If we want fancy feet, we gotta plan. <laughs> also, when you throw your piece, if you want something a little more narrow, go ahead and start with a narrower base. And then instead of going straight up, go up a little bit and then start pulling outward. You might get more of like a like a triangle-shaped bowl. Um, and with those, because that ledge is so like far out from the base. You just have to take your time because if you try to go fast, um, they'll just fall right over. I'm just gonna like, really go for it on this one. I just want this to be successful. Okay. I, okay. I might be able to go just like a smidge farther. Sometimes we feel bold, so we just do the thing. So that's pretty good. I'm happy with how like narrow it is. Um, I'm just going to clean it up ever so slightly, give it a little bevel. Um, and now we're going to focus on the center. So if this is as far as my foot can go, that's as far as the inside of my foot. Just keep that in mind when you're trimming through. If I could get a thicker foot, I could go down thicker. But like this is a really good indicator of how like far I can I can open up. Just doing it progressively, don't rush it. Little bits at a time. So if your clay is a little too wet to trim, you might find that it starts to like dip a little bit like you're pushing it. If you find that it dips, see you. I'm almost done, so don't even. Um, Stop. Like if you find it starts to dip, stop. Because <laughs> it's only going to get worse from there. All right. Little foot. Little foot, big pull. Now, notice my uneven foot. It's a little thicker, just ever so slightly on one side than the other. And that is because the bowl was off center. Um, however, that's not like a, it's not a deal breaker. I've thrown... I've sold bowls and cups with feet much worse and much uglier than this, and people were very happy to have them. <laughs> so, you know, just do what you can. Um, make it look nice. And I get sad, so you can kind of see like a marbling thing happening there, like ever so slightly. Right? And you say to yourself, oh, that's so pretty. It's just going to fire right out. <laughs> this is mold. Um, just heads up. So if you see like this coloration in your clay, it's mold. 
Um, mold is really great for clay. 